Hi everyone, Ashley May here with the DRF. This Saturday out at Ellis Park, not Churchill Downs, Ellis Park, we will have the grade one Stephen Foster, mile and an eighth on the main track at the P-Patch. And looking at the field of eight, uh, it's an interesting group. You see a lot of horses in that sort of three to one, four to one price range because it is just a competitive group. You look at these horses and kind of their resumes um, at their best. Uh, they're kind of able to win these great grade one events. So uh, to me, it is wide open. Proxies in here, won the Oakland handicap last time out. A stiletto boy who was able to win the Santa Anita handicap back in March. Speed bias was a huge second last time out in the Pimlico special. And even the winners of the Ali Sheba and Blame are in this race as well. And uh, when you start to look at the field, they've squared off against one another several times already in 2023. So we'll kick it off with the number one proxy, uh, the Godolphin bred horse for trainer Michael Stidham. We'll look at the Oakland handicap in that most recent performance back in April. He ends up being the four, also to point out the number two last samurai towards the inside. You can see that big white face of Stiletto Boy hit post three. And uh, looking at the stretch run here, it ends up being a very close finish, especially against the top two here. Stiletto Boy was part of that pace kind of set up in this race throughout. Proxy gets to the outside here in the clear. And last samurai still battling it out on the rail but i think the trip that proxy ended up getting from joel rosario was certainly a winning one and it was a well thought out ride and uh he had a circle horses late and he lost some ground he ended up getting a 103 buyer speed figure for the win that was at a mile and an eighth prior to that going a mile and a quarter he just missed behind stiletto boy and he's a horse that when you hear the connections talk about him um, they always knew the talent was there it took him a little bit longer to figure it out so it's great to see him still racing and uh, great to see him get that win last time out. The number two stiletto boy, very game in the Oakland handicap. You look at his races and for a while, predominantly stayed out in California and they traveled him a little bit. He did go to Gulfstream Park for the Pegasus World Cup where he finished third. Use that as his kind of stepping stone to winning the Santa Anita handicap just faltered a little bit late in the stretch at Oakland in his most recent effort. Um, in a lot of ways, he's not really well respected, but um, you know, in terms of getting the job done, a lot of people are fans of him. I'm a huge fan of him, and he's the type of horse that maybe he's not winning all the time, but when you look at his record, um, he certainly knows how to pick up those minor shares. The number three, Speed Bias. We'll take a look at the grade three Pimlico special and his most recent effort. I thought he raced extremely well. Seven to one in this spot. Rattle and Roll ended up being even money and you can see the difference of these we've highlighted them both here towards the inside is speed bias the two is rattle and roll and this is going to be a true horse race in the stretch um looking at speed bias this was a huge test of his class he hadn't gone into stakes competition he was second in his last two outings both at oakland park so he took his show on the road to baltimore and just gets defeated by the narrowest of margins here career best number for him and Ron Moquette's really well managed this horse really you know very well so far in his career and I think that was a nice platform to see how he could handle great graded stakes competition now he's going to step up to grade one water so the waters are going to be deeper he has to face rattle and roll again as well as some very other talented runners but also it's positive to see Luis Saez stick with him now we'll move on to the number four rattle and roll I saw that he was able to get the job done in the Pimlico special, but since then, he's also picked up another win in the grade three blame at that mile and an eighth distance that he'll try again. He's been very consistent, a horse that when you go down the page with him, you know, he's popped a win and we haven't seen him for a while in the winter circle. Then he's done it again, but he's really consistent, probably at his best right now with those three triple buyers in a row in terms of wins. And meaning he's got that three race win streak and all grade three events. But as we've seen, he's faced several in here and he's been able to beat them. Now he's going to try to take his show to Ellis Park, just like most of the field. Most of the field doesn't have a race at Ellis under their belt. But um, it's hard to say that this four year old isn't at his peak form right now. The number five, Smile Happy. This one trained by Kenny McPeak was the winner of the Ali Sheba last time out. But we're going to go back to two races. I know this race was shorter going a mile at Oakland Park, but looking at the grade three Oakland mile, it was a good field. He was favored in here, but in terms of trip, he's going to get a troubled trip. He gets kind of bounced around a little bit, had a minor traffic issues at that point. He's the number one in this field, and he is going to close nicely to end up getting up for third in here. He does miss by two lengths in the end, but the top two at this point, they're already clear, and it's really between the winner because the winner is going to draw off clear. And um, for me, he doesn't miss second by much in that race. So I thought it was a good performance. And then to see him stretch out to a mile and a 16th, getting that added distance, 
it helped him. He was able to win last time out. It also helped that in the Ali Sheba, he was closer to the pace. Um, the pace was not hot by any means. And I think uh, that's why his rider in that race decided to have him a little bit more um, in touch with that pace setting sort of mindset rather than having him come from, say, mid-pack or further back. But he's a versatile type, four-year-old's on a run happy. He's a four-time winner in his career now from eight starts. The number six, West Willpower. This one trade by Brad Cox. Was third last time out as the favorite in the Alice Sheba, but prior to that was a pretty nice winner in the New Orleans Classic. Uh, had to face horses such as uh, Mr. Wireless, but more importantly, our collector was able to finish in front of our collector by nearly five legs. Um, he's a horse that absolutely loves the mile and an eighth distance. I think sometimes um, when you look down the page, a mile's been too short, so has a mile and a sixteenth. And Flavian Pratt was aboard him for that win two starts back. The number seven, Last Samurai. This one trained by Dwayne Lucas. We looked at the Oaklawn handicap where Last Samurai was very game on the rail from post two, ended up missing by a head. He does have a race since then. He also made an appearance in the Ali Sheba, and he just was tired in that race. You kind of look at his campaign before that. He had a pretty tough campaign. He had two back-to-back -back wins, then was second in the Oaklawn handicap, and I think um, maybe took a little bit out of him. So now he's had some time to regroup and prepare for this race. Christian Torres has been aboard him for those three major performances at Oaklawn Park. And nice to see him book to reunite with this horse in this spot. And then finally, the big long shot in the race, the number eight, Happy American. Now he was third last time out at the blame at odds of nearly 15 to one. Uh, looking at his running style, I would suspect he's going to be at the back of the pack early on. The hotter the pace, the better. He'll be trying to pick up shares in here. But looking at his last you know, two efforts, even going further back, he's going to need to show more. He's going to have to step up to face this group because uh, several in here have finished in front of him. And he, as I mentioned, his run style is kind of going to work against him in this spot. So that's the field debate for the grade one, Stephen Foster. Very challenging to pick a horse on top, but I ended up going with the number one proxy. In terms of his form, I thought his last two efforts were very, very strong. He's been able to close from further off of it. He can be closer to the pace, and I think uh, a mile and an eighth is perfect for him. And as his connections have said, they figured him out, and I think he's re really at his best right now. The number six, West Willpower. I think in terms of consistency, he's probably the model candidate in this race. He's seven to two on the morning line. He always shows up. Go down the page. I mean, in his last seven, he's been in the money in all of them. Uh, he's beaten several in here. And my question with him, though, is you looked at him last time out, I thought he should have raced a slight, you know, a uh, bit better than he did. I thought he would have run better. He still raced well. He still got a 106 fire speed figure. But um, I'm going to use him underneath in here and went in a different direction in terms of the top spot. The five smile happy. He's a logical runner. We showed the Oakland mile. I thought he still raced well. And then to see him come with the Ali Sheba getting a little bit more distance and win was a positive sign. And then finally, the number two stiletto boy. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't just a fan of this horse. I kind of fangirl over him, but he's very, very consistent. He has that early foot that he can get himself involved early, but he's also shown the ability to hang around for shares where sometimes these sorts of horses, um, you know, they kind of falter in the stretch. I mean, even when he starts to slow down, he's still picking up second and third place checks. So, uh, you know, I think stiletto boy could show up in his first start at Alice Park. But for me, the number one proxy ends up being my top pick in this year's edition of the Stephen Foster. Good luck.